I came there in October 2011. I started a um, postdoc with uh, Julie Huber at mm -hmm. the Baypal Center in June 2012. Mm -hmm. So from September, uh, October 2011 till June 2012, I was working with Mitch Sogin mm -hmm. um, on a sponge microbiome with a grant from the European Commission. And since June 2012, um, I work on the microbiology of hydrothermal vents with uh, Julie, um, especially from the Mid-Cayman Mid Rise, which is um, south of Cuba uh, in the Ma Bahamas, where they discovered the deepest um, hydrothermal vents of the world. Mm -hmm. And so we study the microbes <coughs> there, the bacteria and the archaea. I've been on board, on a cruise, on board of the Falcor. It's a, a boat from the Schmidt Foundation, mm -hmm. Google. Mm -hmm. And we send a, a, an ROV there, so it's a robot that collects samples for us. It's 5,000 meters deep, so mm -hmm. the other way is to send a submarine, but right. we didn't have one at that time. So my husband, Louis Menian, got a, a postdoc to work at the Vapor Center with Sherry Simmons. And I've been there before at the MBL for a workshop in molecular evolution. It was in 2008. And I enjoyed it so much that I thought, OK, let's go. I'm following you. And we'll find something nice, because it's a great and inspiring environment. So we came with our two daughters. At that time, Ava was two years old, and Louise was five. They are now uh, almost four and almost seven. So we came here by four, and they went to the Woodsall Daycare, mm -hmm. uh, just in cro across Hillpon. Mm -hmm. So that was really that is really convenient to be working the other side from Hillpon, and just knowing they are just close and the environment is great. The teacher right. are great. Like this, there is a swing just by the by the weather. So it's, it's really like open, so you can speak to anyone and discuss your idea or discuss your issues, try to solve them. Like there is no barrier, like every office is open and everyone has great um, uh, inputs to give you and take the time, like spontaneously, they take the time to 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 discuss some new idea or and this is really appreciable. Like I think it's unique and it's um, yeah. I will say that <coughs> that that's what I really like. It's like mm -hmm. everyone is really passionate about what they do and mm -hmm. they realize how difficult sometimes it can be and so there is no idea that cannot be discussed or mm -hmm. so that's what I really enjoy here. I think it brought me like a step forward mm -hmm. like I was enjoying a lot what I was doing but um, I think it's inspired me a lot like for like really good work and good science. Like mm -hmm. I want to, imp to improve my skills and I want to, to share it with the others at one point. And I think I will always remember this time, like the way supervisor teach you things and bring you um, a step forward. Right. Right. I think that's, yeah, that's really different from what I've seen before. Mm -hmm. I learn, I learn a lot about the science, but also about communication and um, how to express this idea. And like people express themselves here much more than what I've seen before. Like in Europe, we express ourselves in conferences. That's, mm -hmm. but that's really like in a in a different way. And I like the way it's it's done here. I think I had a system, like f when I came here I had this question and a system to study which was a sponge microbiome and I think like with the help of these uh, people at the MBL and collaborators I circumvent the, the 
the question I had, and I'm confident uh, about the outputs we found, that the, the microbiome is specific to each uh, species of sponge. I don't know if this can be um, extended to other organisms like the human body or whatever, but I think um, we managed to um, make an integrative study about this sponge microbiome and I'm confident about the results. So even if it's not like the biggest uh, output in the world, it's something reliable and, and um, interesting. Mm -hmm. And it's like one drop of knowledge mm -hmm. more that I would have maybe approached in a different way if I would not have come here. But here I've, I've found that we use many different tools that complement each other and that uh, are congruent. So this is what I found. And then uh, the vents that we are studying now with uh, Julie, it's, it's just uh, fascinating because it's unknown and it's so deep and it's um, life that we have never seen before, that we have to describe, understand. And this is what is fascinating. Yeah, I, I really appreciate and um, I really like respect uh, Mitch Sogin and Julie Huber and these people there at the Babel Center, I think. I think they, they, they give me something that I won't forget mm -hmm. for my science and I wish this will continue. Mm -hmm. I wish the Babel Center will continue or right. develop in this direction and we are passing by and going away and I wish we will remember that and <coughs> and share it the same way. Yeah, it's really like, I think it's a, a really, a real chance to come here mm -hmm. and to work here and with these great scientists. I mean, everyone here is, uh, is amazing. He's doing amazing science and it's still like low, low key, like, I mean, yeah, I think it's a chance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I will take it as a chance, uh -huh. yeah.